All right, here we go. This one's got to sell soon. This is a Heartland Bighorn Traveler. And look at those white lights up top. I waited a little bit in the day just to show you how cool these lights are. I like filming campers at the dusk. But LED lights right here, LED lights up top. All the storage in the front there. You have an upgraded pin box in this one with the Rotal Flex. So this has a big rubber bushing installed just to help with that tugging, you know, going over bumps, stopping and going. Be a lot more comfortable going down the road. Nice big pass-through storage. It has six-point hydraulic auto level system. Two big power awnings on the outside. Sorry, this other camper is so close to me. But there is another entrance door from the outside that goes right into your half bath. This has a bath and a half. And you have an outside kitchen, so you have a mini fridge, two burner stove, and you have your second awning here. Both those awnings come out about 10 feet. There's an LED white light strip that goes all the way down that you can see. Look at the back of this camper, it just looks nice. Oh, I like the symbol. Pretty cool. It's prepped for a telescoping ladder up there if you wanted to add that. It's prepped for a backup camera. Who knows, if you guys buy from Tony T, I might be able to throw on that backup camera for you. Please let me know. I'll take care of you guys. Asdell fiberglass with upgraded fiberglass material. Look at the inside of this thing. I love the woodwork. I love the colors. All the white and black. All this rustic wood. Reminds me of going up north. Farmhouse on the island. This is a pretty cool layout. And I love these colors. Smart TV right across from your seating area. JBL head unit. JBL speakers. Oh, I know those sound good. Nice big fireplace that changes colors. There's a timer on there. Heat settings are on there. Wow. This isn't wide storage, but it's very, very deep. Goes all the way back. All hidden hinges. Nice big residential style fridge. Oh, got the plastic still on it. Look at that. Put that back in there. Oh, that's the proper way to open it. Wow. I like how smooth that opens. Huh. It's pretty neat. Pretty big. Oh, look at that. Must be all digital on the front. The black stainless farm sink. I like that. I wish I did that in more units. Pull down faucet. Yep. Got the pull down faucet just in case you want to spray everybody. Wow, look at how open the storage is underneath. Wow, that's pretty crazy. Usually there's not that much storage. So kudos to uh, Bighorn for that. Oh, a little holder for something. I like all the black handles. Little coffee pot station, or you can use this as your bar area or phone charging station. This is actually 12 volt, I just learned today. I put my phone on it to test it, and it was actually working. There's a couple of these throughout the camper. Uh, I think there's one in the bedroom, one right here, and there might be another one. Now, I love the glass that they do on these, uh, these doors here. Oh, here's all your manuals. Oh, here's all your controls here. Check your tank levels. Oh, there it goes. Tank levels, your slide outs. That's pretty neat. I like how they put that um, in the cabinet, though, so it's not just, like, right in your um, center hallway there or right out in the open. All right, here's your real pantry. Nice big pantry. I would add a little motion sensor light in there because it looks like there's a light. Uh, I think this one has roller shades, too. Yeah, blacked-out roller shades, a little more residential with the rollers, not with the accordion style. Oh, and I just noticed this table. This has the live edge effect like real wood that's pretty neat this is an extension that will fold down out of the way nice sturdy chairs here and you might get two more chairs because this is a bunkhouse so i'm guessing you'd get a couple more chairs i'll double check in the bedroom uh nice comfy couch does this have storage in it no it looked like it did uh this pulls out to a big bed so two two adults could actually uh sleep on that huh cabinets above this has two air conditioning units on here man Look at this, it's like a jungle gym back here. So queen size bed here, another queen size bed up top. Windows all the way around, I love that back part back there. I don't know why there's not a light in here. This needs those colorful lights that go all the way around, you know, the kids add in their bedrooms. That's what this one needs. Maybe I'll install them myself. That'd be pretty cool. There's gotta be an outlet here somewhere. That'd be pretty neat. Maybe I'll do it in another video. Look, so another bed right up top here. There's that wall board for you to see. I love the designs. Now here goes the half bath. This is a pretty big bathroom. For being a half bath, I don't think I've ever seen another half bath in this size. Please disregard the steps here. This is what your solid steps look like when they fold in. 
the camera next to me is so close I cannot open them, so please forgive me. I'll have it fixed soon. Yeah. Toilet's off in a good spot, man. Plenty of floor space in here. I love how much space is actually in this bathroom. But the half bath is never this big. Usually they're very, very tight, small. I mean, the ceiling's super high in here. You'd have an entrance door and uh, easy access inside and out. If your friends or family came uh, to hang out with you and they wanted to use your bathroom, but they sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to come inside, you know. Oh, I don't. No, that's all right. They can just come right in and out of that door right there and they ain't got to go through the entire camper. Even though you would probably want them to see this beautiful camper. And also, you can mount a TV right here on the wall as well. Very nice. Oh, the drop-down lights. Yeah, I love all the finishes in here. They did a really good job with the finishes. So here's your main bath. The glass doors on the shower. You got nice cubbies that go all the way back. Little towel hooks. There's a shelf up top. Toilet's in a good spot. A little bit of counter space in here. I like that. Oh, this is a... It's a solid surface countertop. Nice. Put the drain stopper in. I don't know why I always do that. Medicine cabinet is a decent size. Wow, this is, these are all, wow. Very nice. I like the wood they're using. This is a one piece, looks like it's a frontline manufacturer. A one piece shower surround, so there's no seam. There's no way water can get behind this um, shower uh, pan here, which is very nice. Looks like you have an access to your plumbing just in case something were to happen and you don't want to take off the entire splash like your water connections are right there if something's gonna happen it's gonna be right there nice and easy you can access that instead of taking this whole big panel off to do that make it a little easier for you all right to the main bedroom look at all these windows in here all right so king size bed right up front here Oh, I love the accent light going around the bed. Now, that's cool. They should have did that in the back bedroom. I'm going to get some lights and put them back there because it needs something. That'd be pretty neat. Let's check see if those chairs are in here is the real question. Oh, yeah. Oh, we got a comforter. I didn't even know we had that. I would have put it on. And we have two fold-up chairs here. Nice. Two fold-up chairs and a comforter. I'll put that comforter on today. Not right now during the video, though, because it'll take too long. That's all right. Oh, here's another one of those fast chargers. So yeah, fast charger right there. Dresser drawers. Wow, well, you put mount a TV right here if you wanted to. Unfortunately, if you go too big, you will block out a lot of your windows here, but that's all right. Hopefully you're not watching too much TV. Hopefully you're outside. Nice and big in this closet. And this is a full size unit up front here. I mean, washer and dryer stackable unit can go right in here. Got mirrors to look at your pretty cells. I like how it's all carpet too. And they finish off that corner nice. Shelf above. And you got your rack here. Hang up all your clothes. Nice. Wow. I like this bedroom. Man, I really love this wood though. This is one of my favorite parts about it throughout the camera. Even the little trim pieces are the same color to match. Shelves on each side of the bed. These are solid. Windows that open. Man, I love that light going around the bed though. Pocket door for your bedroom. There's your second AC unit. Oh, was already a lot. Pocket door. Close that off. Relatch that. Nice and simple. Wish this door was a pocket door, though. That's all right. Still a beautiful unit. If you guys want to make this series, please let me know. I have delivery available to any state. We'll mail you the paperwork. You sign it. Mail it on back. And then we can deliver the camper tea after that. Or you can even get your own transport company. I know some people don't realize you can do that, but you most definitely can. You can get your own transport company and come pick it up for you. Or some, a lot of my customers will make the trip and get the full experience. Come on in, get all your questions answered. Make sure a couple before you leave, get all hooked up nice and safe. My service manager has been doing this for a very long time. Make sure everything goes good. Get all your questions answered as needed and uh, make sure you guys are happy. Most importantly, let me take care of you and your family. Come on down and see Tony T or shoot me a call or text. And we can handle everything over the phone, through text, through messenger, you name it. Whatever's easier for you, I'm here to help. My number is 313-221-0064. Once again, it's Tony from Natural IV Detroit. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that like and subscribe button and follow for more. Thank you guys so much.